And so it begins. The necromancer's abyss lies at his feet. He is dark and terrible, and the cries of the dead follow him wherever he goes. There is nothing but hate in his heart. Hate for those who have taken his beloved, who have made him do terrible things, who have taken his humanity. Now, reap the whirlwind, scions of death, for comes the Prince of Darkness. All right. Now, there was a, quite a hint in that little narration about... Nah, I don't want to spoil it for those who don't know what's going to happen yet. I mean, I kind of figured it out at by this point in the game. But still, at the same time, I was a little surprised. Anyway, I'll stop and we'll just let things play out. Welcome to the Necromancer's Abyss, which is by far the longest and most difficult level in the entire game. This is one that most people probably pulled their hair out trying to get through because some of these puzzles are just like, what? Example, this first one we're about to be walking up to. Oh, I love this background track, by the way. So, we're gonna head up here. But before we even look at that thing in the middle, we're gonna drop down to the left. The reason for that is there's a gem down here. Very good. One more shadow gem to go, which is also on this level. Get up there, Gabriel. Okay, now we're gonna look at this star chart, whatever it is, astrological chart. Okay, this took me like two hours of just screwing around, but what we want to do is find Virgo, which is right there. Then we want day 24. I should have gone the other way, it would have been faster. Well, yep, la 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 la. The idea is we're going to try and create a solar eclipse by setting the date, the constellation, and the moon phase. And that's going to move the sun and the moon into the center to create a solar eclipse. And we need a, a new moon. Yeah, that's what it is. Anyway, here we go. That one is a pain in the ass, but now that that's done... Oh yeah, <laughs> then we can just pick this scroll up, I suppose. Which is, oh look, puzzle solution. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> yeah. It is, it's right there. That's the solution. Oh, well, that I suppose it only appears because I had already solved it. But anyway. <clears throat> Next, we'll walk onto this platform, which... It's kind of neat that it just, you know, appears as I walk on it. It's kind of badass. This is a fun level to play while, well, after having several drinks... Well, okay. Yeah, several. Thank you. And now we get to our next puzzle. And this one is not all that bad. It just takes a try or two to figure out what is what. Here's this guy with the puzzle solution. Let's at least grab it and entertain the idea of looking at it. Colors or movements, yeah, blah blah, whatever, shut up. And he's right. Each one of these rings corresponds to a direction. First, we're going to want to, you know, we're going to punch them, holding an L2 and hitting triangle. First, we want to go up. Then, we want it to go right, which is this one in here. Then, up again, and up again. Then, we want to go left, down. So you can just kind of look at it in the background to see where it's going to go. Then left again. Up. You gotta be careful where you stand, too, because you don't want to punch the wrong tile. Right. 
and up. And when you feel you have the puzzle solved, punch the middle thing. And it'll see if you got it, which we do. This is a good time to take a drink, by the way, because this takes a minute. Yep. A lot of experience for a fairly easy puzzle. Oh well, the one before it was pretty difficult. Depending on how long this level drags on, I might actually have to make it two parts. I don't have a time limit on YouTube, but anymore, but still, this one is going to go on for a while. I'm dead serious. Walk through the portal. Here we meet a new enemy, the Reaper. You do not want to fuck around with the Reapers. They will can and will kill you with one hit. So do not get close. They go down in one to two hits, but still, do not even get close. I mean, if they start swinging at you, you're too close. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we're going to drop down to this ledge here for another gem. The final life gem in the game. Hooray! We have max health! And the green collector trophy. If you have been following along, you should have max health too at this point. Now, we are going to run through here. Come on, Gabriel, grab that. Damn it. There we go. And touch this mirror thing. It kinda resembles a Stargate in some way. This is pretty cool. We'll be doing a lot of this, this flying through the air type of stuff. Uh, I mean, obviously, the guys at Mercury Steam had us drinkers in mind when they designed this level, because, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a fun one. Let's jump to here. Almost over jump it. Don't do that, dumbass. Although falling isn't too bad here. You don't even get hurt. It just teleports you back to, like, the last platform you were on. More Reapers. Gotta quickly dispose of them. Ooh, he was about to swing. We don't want them swinging. No, no. We'll take a running jump here. Make that without much difficulty. I overshot him. Shit. See, that's what happens. You don't even get hurt. And these alt rocks are all off center. You'll see what I mean with this next one. That's just to kind of throw you off and you're jumping. Don't jump directly center or you will miss. This one will be off to the right side a little bit. Actually, a lot more than I thought it would be. Excuse me. It's the beer. <laughs> we'll touch this portal. And go sailing. Why do I have a scroll icon again? <laughs> I just don't understand it. I've already read them. Okay. We're going to break that, so... Oh, right. And there's a scroll icon again. Showing up like brand new. Yeah, okay, buddy. Here we have an Necromancer. Not a terribly difficult boss, but his attacks are fast. Dude, I don't want you hitting me. Stop that. Ah, 
Ah, you little bitch. Okay. On my nerves, you be getting. He likes to summon zombies. Who, of course, complicate the battle a little. I'm over here, jackass. Really? La 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 la, I'm getting killed. This is bad, this is bad. Stop fucking hitting me, you little pricks. Wow, he's actually beating me pretty bad. Way worse than he should be. There we go. Fucking zombies, I swear. No, stop hitting me. Yeah, I've about had enough of this guy. Yeah. That guy and I did not get off to a good start. But that's okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Problem has been solved. Why do I have a scroll icon again? It's not that big a deal, it just kind of annoys me. We'll take the right mirror first. Now, what we want to do here is do a running jump and catch that portal. Good. That's... No, don't go... Oh, damn it! Things that piss me off. And we miss. Uh, continue to fail. Thank you. There. For the final light gem in the game. Hooray. Yes, light collector. Very good. Now we'll walk through that portal. And do a run through here. The reason for that is so we can... Oh, you got to be kidding me. Anything to extend this level anymore. Then we'll go through here. As if it wasn't long enough already. You guys don't believe me? I'm dead serious. This level is just ridiculous. I'll probably, like, be out of beer before we even get halfway through it. Now we need to do... We need to time that platform right there that's moving towards us. Where you want to go through is, to be honest, I can't remember the timing. So we're just going to have to do it by trial and error, I guess. There, I think. Hey, I got it. Sweet. And I'm kind of going... I'm not on the correct path at the moment, but I want to show something. Up here is a scroll. Some dude talking about Aperture Magic from Necromancers. Yeah, whatever. And a crystal there if needed. Like if you are like me the last time, in the last level, or a few levels, yeah, it was the last level. No, it was two levels ago. Where you left your crystal in puzzle by Goat Sucker. Yeah, you might want that. Because it is a full crystal in that bag. 
Don't want to miss that, because I really don't feel like having to retime that. We'll go to this ledge here. Make a crazy jump. And make rapid crazy jumps. The eclipse looks cool in the background, I gotta say. Deal with some reapers. Yeah, you guys need to just stop trying to kill me. That's unacceptable. Here. Smash all that stuff because it makes me feel special. And through this mirror we go. Holy shit, there's a lot of Reapers here. I'm not kidding, there are a lot of Reapers here. They really want me dead. The best way to do this part is to try and get an open space and make it yours. And then just work from there. Like where I am now. They all kind of got a funnel towards me. Like I said, you don't even want these guys even getting close. I think that's everything. Then we're gonna go hop up here. Get up there, dumbass. And punch this. And that'll turn on that mirror. Good. Okay, we're partially there. Go through this mirror here. Do some more cool flying through this debris storm and the, the solar eclipse. And we're back at this point. Now we're going to go to the left mirror. And more flying. What we want to do here is go left first. It doesn't matter, you can go left or right. Both have to be done. I, I prefer to go left first. Right away, grapple. Get the cool slow-mo effect there. And we got Reapers to deal with. Roll! Shit! That was bad. I somehow got lucky, he should have killed me. There we go. I guess I got lucky due to the fact that I have max health. If you don't have max health at this point, you are dead. As you can see, that attack almost killed me. Now, we're gonna go down here. Not too terribly worried about my low health at the moment. Well, half health. Make an impossible jump. You know, those are the jumps that define Gabriel as, like, the Olympic long jump champion. And out here. Grapple that guy. We got this thing right here to take care of that health problem. Stupid Reapers. No, stand on the switch, stupid. Thank you very much. Your cooperation is appreciated. This will open part of the gate. Yeah, we're not done yet. Go through here again. And back through the left mirror. And now we're going to take a running jump through this portal. Try and grapple that guy. And go through this mirror. You, if you, you can go down below if you want. There's nothing down there but a fight with Reapers, and it takes you back to where you jumped from. I don't know why I wasted time breaking that. But then we'll punch this. And now 
now the gate is open. Hooray. It only took me looking at my... Oh, 20 minutes to get that gate open. Awesome. Yeah, I think we're about halfway. <laughs> uh, half a beer left. We're good. Mm. Right. I'm going to run through here and go through this next mirror. My buddy, the Necromancer, is back. This Necromancer is a little stronger than the last one, too. You don't want to be anywhere near him when that goes off. You will get hurt by it significantly. Shit. Yeah, he calls Reapers. It's a bad situation. Up yours. Yeah, I forgot I had holy water there for a second, believe it or not. No! Oh, really? Oh, we're done already? Well, that was fast. I'll be taking that away from you. Oh, just die. Nothing like having to button mash for five minutes. Okay. Go through this mirror. do more flying. Okay. Time to make a jump. And up we go. I'm going to do a lot of platforming now for a little bit. That's okay. It's a nice break from fighting annoying reapers and such. And necromancers. Up here, and then we're going to repel a little. And up we go. Make another crazy jump, because that's what we're just damn good at, making crazy jumps. Right, I gotta get up here so I can jump, kick myself up. There we go. Up here. Hey, checkpoint. Checkpoints are good. We like those. Not that I die or anything. Often. And here we go to this ledge. Time for some cool grappling. Yep. And there's the eclipse again. In case you weren't paying attention. Through here, grapple. Through here, grapple. That was kind of fun. Can I do that again? Well, actually I could if I fell. I don't feel like falling though. And you gotta stand in a certain spot to get this one. That was the spot. Now we're up here. Holy shit, we're running 25 minutes. This is over 2 gigs, I'm gonna be pissed. Double jump onto here.
All right, now we're going to head back this way. For the final shadow gem in the game. Dark Collector, hooray. Should get another one, too. For all of them. Yep, Master Jeweler. Okay, I'm just gonna fall. The reason for that is so it brings me up here, closer to where I want to be. Charge my health up. Yeah, that's good. Oh, come on, dude. You've got to be kidding me. There we go. Running jump. That'll get us up there. Yeah, we're still going. <laughs> Although we are about done. For those that are thinking, are you serious? Is the level really this long? Yeah, it is. And we're through it. Wow. And at this point, we have all of the gems. We don't have to worry about looking for them anymore. Hooray!